Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Three View. Today, we're joined by Great Falls Americans head coach, Greg Sears. How's it going? It's going well. Thank you. All right. So we'll just kind of jump right on into things. So this was you guys' first year under new ownership with Matt Leaf. Talk about how the first season under that new ownership went. Yeah. You know, first year um, with Matt was was uh, went really well. Um, you know, he brought, uh, you know, a lot to the program, a lot of fresh ideas and you know, did a lot for our players and uh, it's only getting better. So, um, you know, we're really excited to have him on board and, um, you know, it's it's been really good. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the frontier is wild in terms of, you know, the race for the postseason. You guys qualified during the last weekend of the regular season. Talk about how excited you guys were to, you know, qualify for the postseason after not qualifying the season before. Yeah. I mean, it was a fun ride. It was, you know, a really good, uh, you know, year for our division, you know, obviously, and uh, top to bottom, um, you know, tough games every every week. And, you know, going down to the last week was was a lot of fun. And, yeah. you know, Badlands was right there, too. Sheridan was there. So it was, you know, we had something to play for every night. And, uh, you know, I think the kids just really enjoyed that. And, um, you know, we kind of rode the wave and, you know, we're lucky enough to get in. So it was, uh, yeah, it was a fun experience. Yeah, absolutely. And then in terms of exposure, you guys had five players practice with NAHL teams, and then you also had four players uh, selected to the top prospects tournament. Talk about the importance of these events and how it aids players, you know, in hopes to get to the next level. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's it's awesome to have the NA as a, a, an umbrella for us and be able to uh, send kids up to practice. And, um, you know, top prospects has always been a fun event. And, you know, getting as many guys as we did there, um, you know, I think two of them ended up with college deals out of there. And, um, you know, that's what it's all about. And, you know, getting the guys' uh, you know, names out to as many people as we can and getting them seen, um, you know, it's all been, been really good for us. Yeah. And I noticed that you tendered your son, Carson, for this upcoming season. Honestly, when you look at it, I feel like most coaches or most people only get to coach their kids at the youth level, but you're, you know, getting the chance to coach your son at the junior level. Talk about how cool of an experience that's going to be this upcoming year. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's no stranger to our program. Um, you know, thankfully, Matt's let him kind of hang around and, you know, be around the guys. So he he, he knows uh, kind of what to expect. Um, mm-hmm. He's a pretty good young player. He's in 08, so you know, he'll have to pay his dues like everybody else. And mm-hmm. um, I know he's looking forward to our training camp and a little nervous about it. But, yeah, it'll be nice to uh, have him around. And, you know, I look forward to, uh, you know, seeing what he can do for us. Yeah, absolutely. That's so cool. I feel like, like I said, not many play, not many, you know, players get to code, I mean, play for their dad at the junior level. So it's yeah. pretty neat. <laughs> And in terms of, you know, last season, your leading scorer in Tayo Bay is set to come back. What does he bring to your team both on and off the ice? Uh, the kid can put the puck in the net. And, uh, you know, obviously every team needs that. Um, plus, he's just, uh, you know, he's an A-plus kid. Um, mm-hmm. A fun guy to be around. And, you know, he brings, uh, brings it every game. Um, you know, he's had a little bit of injury issues over the summer, <clears throat> over the summer end of last year. So, you know, hopefully coming in healthy, um, looking for a, a hot start. You know, he's one of those guys we've had up a couple times with some NA looks. And, you know, mm-hmm. we'd love to try to get him a, another opportunity up there. And as we look forward to this season, what do you think was the biggest takeaway from last season that you're going to implement this year? I think just the new culture that, you know, Matt helped create, um, getting us a new locker room was huge and, you know, treating the kids kind of like the pros. Um, I, I think that's the biggest thing, uh, you know, mm-hmm. our group, we have a good group of returners um, with only four age outs. So uh, last year, you know, I think this uh, is just the beginning, you know, of uh, kind of the newer Americans with, with uh, the Leafs at the helm. So, um, you know, just, just excited for the future. And I think, uh, you know, hopefully we've taken another step this year. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, speaking about the future, what can American fans expect from you guys this upcoming year? I think we'll be a little bit more mature than we were last year. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, we could have 15, 16 guys back from a team that, uh, you know, was real young last year and, 
mm-hmm. you know, kind of saw the best of the best with, uh, you know, how uh, how good Helena and Gillette were in our division. Um, you know, so that experience to kind of see what it takes, um, you know, should help us, uh, you know, be a little bit better this year. Um, it's just the experience is tough to teach. So, you know, having those guys back will be huge. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for coming on today. We really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing what you guys do this season. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.